Welcome to another Good E-Reader video. This is Marcus. And this is Peter. And today we're going to unbox the new Pocketbook Pro. This is the 912, the latest and greatest from Pocketbook. This is an upgraded version of the 902. So we're pretty excited to unbox this. Uh, again, this E-Reader is not available in North America. And you see here that it is touchscreen. So it's pretty well of all the large screen e-readers that we've reviewed this is probably the only one that's ever been touchscreen exactly this is meant to compete with uh, larger screen 9.7 inch e-readers such as the Kindle DX and in fact the Kindle DX is not touchscreen and um, even the later model DX's are not touchscreen so this would probably be a huge selling point for pocketbook as you could display very large books, newspapers, PDFs, and instead of navigating all the way across a large, almost 10-inch screen, you could just very simply touch. So, And uh, Peter's totally right. I mean, the big uh, selling point on large screen e-readers is to read technical documentation, uh, newspapers, presentations, and as well as books, you know, and e-ink versions of uh, magazines and uh other content that's more suited towards a large screen. Um, opening it up, you see it's packed very well. And you notice that Peter had taken a plastic film off of the box at the beginning. And these are these latest pocketbooks are the only really ones that actually come with that on it. It's just the little things. Yeah, exactly. The old, the older models, they were open much like these, so you never really know if they were sealed because it was just simply closed. But now that it is shrink-wrapped, you, you know for sure. So here is a quick start guide. This will tell you everything you need to know about the e-reader. Uh, this is a very pre-exclusive release, so we have it written in, I believe, Ukrainian or something of the sort. So... I believe when they hit shelves in the U.S. and Canada, they will not look like this. Your, uh, your warranty card, that is. There's nothing else on top of the foam or underneath the foam. Unfortunately, they do not give you a case with the, um, the new 912 and the 612. Um, you still get a micro USB cable. This plugs it. The smaller end plugs into your device, and the bigger end plugs into your tablet PC, PC laptop, or uh, Slate PC, and this is used for both charging the device and transferring data to the device from your PC. Alright, first look, it does look like it is the exact same frame, although I'm not sure, but these indentations on the corners, if you can catch some light, you'll see right here it looks to be like a new pinched design so this is probably um, utilized to f uh, fit larger internals and uh, looks like your stylus should be here somewhere here we are top nice. corner and oh I pressed the side button and it turned on so that's convenient we were gonna show you a first time startup anyways but before that happens let us show you the, the device itself on the bottom, you have a hard reset button. You have 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, status indicator um, slash battery light, micro U micro USB. Uh, yeah, micro USB. Sorry, uh, micro SD, and you have two speakers. On the side, you have volume down and volume up, and below that, you have zoom out, zoom in. This is for easy navigation for larger. Um, screened uh, applications like uh, PDFs and newspapers. On the top you have a very large power button and you have wireless communications off and on. I've noticed with uh, the latest generation of the pocketbook e-readers that they all have those new Wi-Fi uh, turning off and turning on buttons which I find is good because sometimes um, a lot of Wi-Fi settings are often buried, you know, in in sub menus. And obviously, if you want to extend your battery life of your e-reader, you want to shut that uh, completely off. Uh, you can see that it does have like a built-in accelerometer and uh, such, so it will switch. Exactly. It does seem that on first-time startup, you are stuck. Uh, we do have kind of a gyroscope lock here, as it will not drop. So. Um, we're going to flip it upside down till we're done starting this up, and hopefully when we get to the home status screen, it will turn back around. 
Yeah, so upon startup, if you if your gyroscope gets locked like that, don't worry. Once you get into the status screen, as you saw right there, it just drops for you. And it actually switched orientations pretty quickly, which was is surprising. It did exactly, and this is um, something the uh, many e-readers don't have built-in accelerometers and gyroscopes for easy orientation change. Yeah, I mean the closest comparison is the Kindle DX, and in order to switch from landscape to portrait mode, it's actually software-driven. It doesn't actually have really right a built-in accelerometer. Exactly. Yes, exactly. So you see here that it is a very similar um, layout in terms of the host home screen as the 902. So um, not much different in terms of just the home screen standby here. It does seem that uh, the internals have changed though, given the touch screen and all that. And I believe this new education badge is on there. So I believe they're catering more towards, um, uh, you know, PDFs and larger screened uh, applications and all that. Yeah, I mean, looking at uh, the device here, it really kind of seems like um, it has everything that you need. Speakers, a headphone jack, you can listen to audio books, you can listen to music, you can uh, play it right out of the speakers as well as, uh, you know, through your headphones. So uh, this pretty well seems like the all-in-one device. Uh, one of the maybe not so much drawbacks but you if you want to utilize the touchscreen functionality you, you do need to use the stylus and you could see here that it has like a small uh, plastic thing at the top maybe it's not resing out that well but you could see it right there and so that's really how the touchscreens in interact here um, of course we're going to give you a full hands-on review of this so if you want to learn more about uh, the latest edition of the pocketbook here stay tuned to our youtube channel at youtube.com slash user slash goody reader or our news blog at goodyreader.com slash blog and for goody reader my name is marcus and this is peter and everybody take care